So if you want to control a country, obviously you have to erase its history, so no one has any idea what went before, and then the future is yours. And that's why they tear down monuments to our past. In New York, they tore down the Teddy Roosevelt statue, the greatest of all American presidents, the most popular. It stood there for many years, and now it's gone. Rioters have done this all over the country. So that wasn't enough. So now woke lunatics at the Pentagon have decided to desecrate America's biggest and most significant cemetery, Arlington National, right across from Washington, D.C., and tear down a memorial to Civil War dead. Chris Bedford is the executive editor of the Common Sense Society. He just wrote such a thoughtful and interesting piece on what is happening and what it means. He joins us tonight. Chris Bedford, thank you. So I, I'm not sure I can in any way improve on what you wrote. Summarize it for us, if you would. Well, right now what they're trying to tear down is the, is the monument in Arlington that marks the Confederate war dead. Now, this is not a monument to victory. It's not a monument that says, rise up again, this war is coming. This is, not a, this is a monument to reconciliation. It's a funerary monument that stands over the graves of people, including the architect and a number of other uh, 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 Confederate war dead uh, uh, who, are, who are buried there now in Arlington. This is something that symbolizes peace. At its center is a robed woman holding a laurel crowned with, uh, crowned with branches and also holding the plowshare that, that stands for beating our swords into a plowshare. Now beneath that is a frieze centered by an Athena, a circular frieze that, can, that shows uh, Southerners answering the call to war. And that's something the critics have a problem with. It does show a romanticized and idealized version of the South there. But it is, uh, at its core, an, uh, a monument to that reconciliation. And it came during a very complicated period in time. If we think that 2020 was complicated, the period after the Civil War, where about 2% of the American population gave their lives in battle, was extremely tense and complicated. For decades afterwards, Confederates were not even allowed to, not even the families were allowed to tend the graves of those who were fallen. But America actually got through what most countries never get through. They got through the Civil War, and 30 years later, when they end up fighting side by side in the Spanish-American War, that mutual affection was rekindled. And there was a softening of hearts, and people who had fought on both sides reached out to each other and said, we're going to try and come together and build something to reconciliation. Now, the people who built this, the Daughters of the Confederacy, know that this was not a perfect country. Not a single one of them could vote at that period. There were still a lot of problems that we had to get through, but coming together in that complicated history is what's essential for us to remember, and tearing it down is very simple-minded. How, how vicious to do this to a graveyard 150 years later? Is there, very quickly, is there any way to stop this erasure of American history? It's not theirs to erase, is it? I think there is. The Congress has given the Pentagon the ability to erase these things, but they're talking about base names and roads. Things like Arlington National Cemetery fall under the U.S. Commission of Fine Arts. That's, a few, that, that's part of the cemetery. That's civic architecture. That's something the military, though they like to bulldoze over authority, actually has to sit, maybe take a back seat to. Yeah, you, you can't desecrate graveyards. Sorry. I don't care who's buried there. Chris Bedford, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.